In this set of video tutorial, we are going to learn how we can look at various print options and uh, even before we make the print, we can actually look at the virtual copy, whether it is uh, right or wrong or if we have to do some kind of realignment on the same. So the worksheet that we will be looking at is the sheet one and uh, here we have our own set of masterpiece where we have had different set of tables as such and let's go to file and there is this print option. So the moment we select this print option, you can see there is the different settings which are available here. And also there is a preview that is available for the print option. Now, when you look at the print preview, this is the page one. So if you look at closely this page one, looks like this page one is slightly incomplete because the whole table is not coming as such. It does not come. In fact, this chart also goes away. Let us look at page two. Page two only contains some incomplete information uh, regarding the earlier set of table that we had. And let's look at what is page three. Page three is again the other half of the first page and also the chart that was left. So probably this is the preview. If we are to print this worksheet, this is how we will get in terms of the printout. So probably you may not like this at this stage. So we may have to kind of do some adjustments here and there so that when we take a printout, it looks really professional. So let us look at various print options in a much detail. On the top, you'll find this is a printer icon and uh, to select the number of copies you want to print, you can adjust it from here. So let's say if I want five copies, I can select five here or probably you can mechanically type 15 copies or 10 copies or one copy or two copy as such. So let me keep it to one itself. If your printer is online, it will show online or you may have to kind of select your printer which one is ready. So say for example here, this printer is ready for use. So the moment I give the print, it will print the pages which I am looking at in the worksheets. Now. There are other set of uh, settings which are available. So one of the settings are print active sheets. If you see in the drop down, there are various options, print active sheets. And that is what I want. Do you want to print an entire workbook from sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, sheet four? At this stage, I don't want to do that. So I'll probably select only active sheets. Do you have any selection for printing? No, I haven't done that. I just want my full sheet one to be printed. So, or do you want to only print a selected table? So, I mean, there are various options which you can look at for printing. For the time being, I'm just keeping at print active sheets. Other option that you can see is that if you have to, let's say, print only a selective page, let's say page one and page two. So in this, in this worksheet, as you may have noted, there are three pages, one, two, and three. And I just want to print only two pages. So page one and page two, or let's say page one to page one. So this will print only the first page. So you can also look at these set of options. So for the time being, let me have page one to page three. What will this collated means? Let's say if I am printing multiple copies, say for example, if I'm printing five copies, so a collated version would mean the first, second and third page will be printed first and you can keep it as a separate copy. That will be the first copy. The second full copy, which consists of three pages will be printed next. That means collated. The other option is that it has totally uncollated versions. So say, for example, if you have provided for five copies, the first page will get printed five times. The second page will get printed five times and the third page will get printed five times and you will have to manually collate it. So you can look at various options which you require in terms of printing setups. The other aspect of uh, print setup is very important. That is orientation. Here we have the portrait orientation. Here you can see the layout of the page. We can see the height of the page is more than the width. This is the portrait orientation and the other one which has height, which is a bit smaller than the width. This is known as 
a landscape orientation depending on what kind of data you have or what kind of presentation you're preparing you can actually choose between the two so let me try and choose landscape just to show you what happens when there is this kind of a variation so the moment I do that you can see that the page layout has changed a bit and I can kind of look at more data on the right hand side but I have less data at the bottom because I have lesser height which is available because of uh, the landscape orientation let us look at page 2 this is page 2 page 3 and page 4 so this is also unevenly formatted or organized for the printing setup however it still looks better because as you can see this table which is um, more in terms of width a landscape orientation is probably making more sense as compared to the portrait orientation so I'll just keep landscape orientation for the time being then you can also select various kinds of letter formats or the page formats that you have normal format that is really available is a4 sheet which is readily available for print uh, you can have different options you know legal letters a5 envelope size so you can choose among the one which you require the default one is the letter format so I'll quickly change it to the A4 format because I have A4 sheets available in my printer the other thing is the margins that you want to look at now in order to explain these margins let me go on the print preview and as you can see on the bottom right hand corner I'll just click here in order to show the margins so these are the margins what happens is when my table is printed there is a suitable margin between the edges and the table so this is known as margins by default it contains normal margins you can have wider margins one inch each on the left and the right hand side and there are custom margins also which you may like to kind of select as far as your requirement goes so that's what you can do in terms of uh, print setup there's another thing which is also available is the if you want to fit all the data on a single page though it may not look good you have an option you can just click here fit sheet on one page and the moment you do that you can see that all page gets fitted